what's up? Didn't see you there. It's me, your boy DJ Color TV, and welcome to the first ever DJ Color TV talk show. Tonight, we got a pretty good show. I got some jokes, I got a monologue, and uh, there was a, a live stream DJ battle that happened last night, and DJ Ease was the host, and I got him calling in in a little bit, so yeah. Basically, I'm gonna run down some news and run down some jokes, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's get comfortable. Okay, so, coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. We all know about it. It's day 21 of the quarantine in New York City and also most of the country and who knows how many days in the world. But one thing's crazy, in, in America at least, liquor stores, liquor store sales have soared 243% as everyone is staying home and self-medicating. I, for one, have noticed not too much. Um, you know, I feel like people are just playing catch up right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, liquor sales always been up for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, what we got here? Little uh, little vodka soda. Hmm. Could use some ice. And nobody's drinking Corona right now, so I got an ice cold Modelo. Hmm. I'll be talking to you later. All right, so it has been reported that uh, over the weekend, or maybe a few days ago, I don't know, the, a tiger in the Bronx Zoo has been infected with the COVID-19 virus. It's what officials are uh, calling a human-to-cat transmission, which is kind of weird, very strange. Hmm, I wonder who's behind this. Probably that bitch Carol Baskins. All right, <clears throat> so everybody's talking about the Zoom web conferencing app, and people are using it daily for all sorts of different things. DJs are using it for parties, people are using it for conferences at home, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's using it. Their stock has shot up. It's pretty cool. Apparently, though, they're in the news because they're having security issues. They're giving your personal info to Facebook and other companies like that, and some people are doing what's called Zoom bombing by coming into a meeting basically uninvited, taking over the screen and sharing inappropriate things uh, during, the, during the webcasts and stuff. I, for one, haven't had any problems with this at all. I mean, I don't really know what people are, you know, so upset about, you know? Well, anyway, enough of that. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let, let, me, let me bring one of them back. Make them bounce like that. Yeah, you're smart. You got a good education. Yeah. I can tell you're going places, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of that. All right. So, um, also in the news, the $2, two trillion dollar stimulus, stimulus, here we go, package, is leaving some Americans uh, falling through the cr uh, cracks, including college kids, immigrants without social security card or number, and all the undercutting DJs that still live in their mother's basements. Hmm. Basically, if someone is claiming you as a dependent on their taxes, no money for you. All right. Doing this to what seems like an empty room. There's people here, but they're just not mine. Hope you are. Okay, in yesterday's White House news briefing, President Donald Trump denied Dr. Fauci from answering if the new hydrochloroquine malaria drug is effective to treat the coronavirus, whether it is or is not. Trump stopped Fauci from talking, saying that he had already answered it 15 times. As you, as you can see in this clip here. We don't have time to go and say, gee, let's take a couple of years and test it out. And let's go and test with the test tubes and the laboratories. We don't have time. I'd love to do that. And would you also weigh in on this issue of hydroxychloroquine? 
What, what do you think about this? And what is, the, what is the medical evidence? Yeah. Well, I need to be 15, 15 times. Okay. You don't have to ask he's, the he's your medical expert, correct? He's answered that okay. question 15 times. Dr. Fauci. What did he say there? Kind of sounds like Trump got mashed up with Bill Cosby for a moment. Let's go and do tests with the test tubes and the Labradors and the pudding. <laughs> but for real, Trump, let Dr. Fauci do his job and stop with the Trump speed and stop grabbing pussies and drugging women. We don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, man, this guy's it's incredible. Okay, shifting gears towards the DJ world. Everyone seems to be live streaming right now, more so than ever before. Even the live stream haters have jumped on the bandwagon. Talking to you, DJ B Real NYC. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Most DJs are using live, uh, Instagram Live from their phones, making me ask the question why are your turntables spinning the wrong way? And what does your name on your laptop say? Enoch B? Hmm. Speaking of live streams, uh, last night was the first ever DJ battle on Instagram Live, held by Headliner Music Club. And it was sponsored by Def Jam, which is pretty dope. It was a really good competition. Um, DJ Ease was the gracious host and one of the judges, along with Jay Espinoza and DJ Ever. And here now to talk with us is the one and only DJ Ease. All right, welcome, DJ Ease, to the first Hello. ever Color TV talk show. Uh, where are you calling in from, bro? I'm in Los Angeles, my home, like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, locked in your home like everybody else, right? Um, so, yeah, man, uh, shit. I haven't seen you in a while, man. I miss you. But um, I saw you last night on the on the DJ battle doing the hosting. Um, tell, tell me about that, man. How was that for you? It was dope, man. It was legendary. It's never been done before. It was the first ever Instagram Live DJ battle that I've ever seen or known of. So it was definitely part of history. And uh, it's like mixed feelings, man. It's dope. It's because, like, this quarantine situation made that possible. You know, so... Yeah, there was a lot of dope competitors too. Um, we had um, what? Uh, what's his name? Boozer, uh, Davers, Dynamics, Nicoso, Presto One, Slasher, Spare Change, and Vex. Not to be confused with Vect. Um, yeah, how did you guys uh, basically select those eight? I think it was supposed to be six, but then y'all selected eight, right? Was it? Was that a hard choice? It was hard because there were so many good DJs that entered. We had, the, we had everybody that made an entry uh, put the hashtag in. Mm -hmm. uh, the hashtag, we went and looked at our videos. And pretty much all of the guys, we agreed on the same DJs. And then we also had like two honorable mentions that were like, yo, we're going to do these two guys that go one of them. So we just like, let's stretch it out to eight. Yeah, um, well. Long, like three style sets, like 15 minutes. And you can't yeah. do that, but like three minutes. Three, three minutes. Yeah, so three minutes sets, eight, eight DJs, three minutes sets, it's not a lot. You know, I got to say, man, it ran really smoothly. It, you know, you had to look at your phone a lot to, like, try to join the people in per DJ. But, I mean, if you're talking about that versus a DMC, sometimes it's, like, 10 minutes between DJs. And, you know, you were able to connect, like, fairly fast, like, within a minute or two. Yeah. We had everybody ready to go before, like, make sure we had a meeting before everybody was ready to go. So, you know, we got dragging people in. But, yeah, that kind of battle, man, like, where you're just like letting people click their way in is like way more. I felt like that was way more uh, being battle block. Yeah. And that would be more fun because it was like a little nerve wracking for me because it's never been done before and I never hosted a DJ battle in my life. I'm not a host, I'm a battle DJ myself. You know, I'm not very social. But like, I, I warmed up when I saw you in there and I saw Analyze in there. I saw yeah, my friends. Yeah. Word. Well, um,. So, like, how did the idea for the, the online battle come about? Like, was it your idea? Was it, like, you and you and Five and Headliners? or like? So, uh, it was definitely not my idea. It was the Headliners team. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that team. Uh, they hit me up one day, like, yo, he's, he's getting a group meeting. So, they hit me on Zoom. And 
was me, Scratchy, Five, Air Deluxe, and I think Ever was in there too. And he was like, like, yo, what do you think about doing a DJ guy? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, F Jam wants to, you know, be part of this shit. So I was like, hell yeah, let's, let's do it. You know, why not? Yeah, for sure. How, I mean, how did Def Jam get involved? I mean, I guess you said it was from the jump, but like, what was that involvement like? like yeah, I know I that they. I know that the artists had to pick Def Jam songs to play, but like, I don't know. How did that thing come together? Well, our team, like everybody that works at Headliner, for the most part, ninety-eight percent of people that work at Headliner, and this is the, the marketing department to the. Uh, the edits, everybody that works for Headliner is a DJ first. Right. So a lot of the DJs have connections, like the radio shows, or, like Ever is on power, um, Scratchy uh, DJs too, and there's a bunch of stuff for our uh, industry. So I mean, Eric is connected with a lot of record labels. So Eric, you know, he puts records with LMFIO, shit like that. So he right. a lot of people already. So I'm pretty sure their situation, they tied that in. You know? It wasn't me, it was definitely the team. They just like, yo, we got that here. Yeah, that's that's great. That's that's a great sponsor. Um, you know, I'm sure they they helped you know put up some of the the prizes. I mean, y'all give away a lot. Like first prize was fifteen hundred, second prize was five hundred, third place was two fifty. That's like uh, two thousand two hundred fifty dollars right there. And especially you know in a battle in this day and age, like man, everybody needs that little extra money, even if it's just the two fifty. And I was. That's gig money, man. That's like to come over a three minute set and make really make two fifty, five hundred, fifteen hundred, man. That's a good you know, walk away with it in time like this. But yeah, it's yeah. cool. So the first place yeah. got the got the fifteen hundred plus uh, some shoes, right? And a one year headliner membership, right? Yeah. What what kind of shoes were they? I don't know, cause Zen the company Zen is not a store like you could. Pick. Oh, that's why Zen's name on it. Okay, yeah, I'm not I'm not hip on all that shit. <laughs> They, they have rare sneakers, like sneakers are really hard to find. Dope. Uh, they have next stock sneakers, you know, like sneakers like the 90s, or 80s, that like, they have the original pair. Not the... Word. So that means next time we see Dynamics, we're going to have to jump them for his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Watch <Yeah>. out, D. <laughs> um, so yeah, second place, I uh, got six month HMC membership. Third place, got three months HMC membership. And both of them got uh, the, the merch bundle. What, what's in that? Do you have any idea? Probably a gang of t-shirts, hats. Uh, Airliner, we have a lot of merch. So. Did first place love, get that bundle too? Huh? Did first place get the bundle too? First place got some stuff. Like uh, Maybe second and third only got bundles. Yeah, that's what it says on the flyer at least. What? Yeah, I think all of the DJs are eventually going to get merged though, because everybody was good. Word. So, uh, you know, I'll just shout them out now. Uh, the, the winners, uh, Dynamics got first place, Spare Change got second place, and Presto One got third place. I know that the competition was stiff. Um, you know, a lot of people that I was watching with thought Nick Oso, you know, had a, had a leg up and, and some of the other guys also. I actually uh, judged Nick Oso a while back for the... Um, Oh yeah, battle. He's he was good then too. Uh, almost took it, but um, yeah. How did you guys narrow it down? Like, you know, it was so we tight, all, and it was. First thing, first of all, agreed that Nick also was like, um, it was a situation like where it, like it was, it was hard. Yeah. It was hard. Um, judging it, we went off the creativity. Yes, and he had a big part. Yeah, like one of the most creative sets in the whole battle. I agree. It just uh, other DJs had more pieces, meaning like they covered more ground. Like Presto covered ground with juggling and scratching, creativity, this, this is stuff like that. You know, right. he had a big creative part, but um, he just kept it added a few more things, and we were doing definitely the top three, yeah. not winning. Um, you know. Yeah, I mean, shit, it's good to good to hear the feedback. I'm sure if if, if Nick is watching. Yeah, I, you know? Nico also, my bad, not Nick. I said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. <laughs> Open my eyes to some things. I was, it was dope judging with Jay because the last time I judged the battle, I had to judge Jay versus Dynamics. Right. Was, uh, I hated that shit. I hated it. That was horrible. I was going to say finals. It was pain in the winning, but it was definitely a difficult. Uh, yeah, I remember I was there. A really good battle, man. And um, But anyway, Jay Espinosa. Uh, mentioned some things that he saw that he 
that I wasn't thinking about. I was like, yeah. Like, uh, got an example? Um, just like being, being creative and then dragging it out too long. Like, get, people get the get the point and then get out of it and get to the next thing. Yeah, when it's a battle, you got to take that idea and like push it down to the most, boil it down to the most like key parts of it, and like that's it, and then you move on. The transitions being very smooth, and and also your presence, you know, and uh, being able to hear what you're doing, because a lot of DJs are I'm sure like this is crazy shit. We couldn't hear it because either they didn't have an eye rig or. This, this keeper setup, which was a yeah, we were we were joking last night that the iRig stock just went up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah I mean, awesome. we we got an iRig here, but uh, we're missing like the, the the crucial cord, so I'm just doing it through my MacBook uh, microphone. So uh, that's that's kind of yeah. sad. If, um, if it wasn't such a big issue with shipping right now, I would have told the guys like, "Yo, let's ship everybody." If I'm yeah, man. I, I honestly, I looked it up, and they they weren't going to be able to get an iRig here for another month. So it's like, yeah. fuck it. I'm waiting on quarter inch cables right now. Oh, on really? Yeah, wow. April 24th, I think this shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we we got one of those, uh, like, bidet things that's coming in like two weeks. <laughs> oh. Dude, Yo, I was I able to get TP, though. That's funny. Gotta get slick and order some toilet paper. I was like, yeah, I got like a pound of toilet paper right here. Five? <laughs> like, this toilet paper arrived and it was like a month and a half. Shit. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> it's on back order. Also, the all the webcams and stuff are on back order. I got I got my webcam up over here the other day, and I should have just bought their whole stock because now they're gone. Well, anyway, man, always great talking to you. You're my brother. I love you. Um, yeah, too, bro. Yeah, man. I'm, I feel like this situation that we're in is a blessing and a curse at the same time. It's like a big blessing in a way where it's bringing people more together. And I'm pretty sure after this is over, everybody will treat each other differently. Now. Well, yeah. Have a lot of respect for one another. It's just that we all are equal right now. Every celebrity, every person with no money, every person with money. It's like nobody has like so much more than another person right now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, if you're a DJ and sole proprietor or whatever, make sure you file for that unemployment too. You know, it's it's there. It's it's tough to get in New York though. You got to call up. You can't sign online. But shit sucks well, we're all in the same boat i suppose the same the same diseased ass boat <laughs> all right bro well thanks for uh thanks for calling in man and um i'll talk to you later all right, bro. All right peace well thank you ease for for calling in now as a part of the stay-at-home orders issued basically all over the planet dj vect and the artist thug shells has dropped a new track called don't Put it in your mouth. Hashtag stay home. Hashtag with me. It's really dope. You can find it on their YouTube channels and on their IG accounts, which have it linked. And, um, yeah, I just burped. Thank you. And their IG accounts. So uh, you can go to at Vect, that's V-E-K-K-E-D, and at Thug Shells, T-H-U-G-S-H-E-L-L-S to find them and listen to the song. However, I have the video. So without further ado, here's Vect and Thug Shells with Don't Put It In Your Mouth. Good night, everybody, and see you on the next episode. All right. We're here to tell a little story about why you shouldn't put things into your mouth because you could get very sick. Ugh, I don't wanna be sick. Don't you put it in your mouth, don't you put it in your mouth, don't you stop it in your face, don't stop it in your face, so it might look good to eat, so it might look good to eat, and it might look good to taste. So we're feeling uneasy. Social distance, more the sickness, is needed to recover speedy. Questions asked, media's on blast, no one wants to be living woozy. If you're feeling the flu, there's one thing you must do. Don't spread the sneezies. Cover to your elbow, don't touch your eyes and nose. If you've been exposed, put your plans
Pentagon on hold. Do as you're told, this ain't the common cold. Public safety's the number one goal, not just you anymore. It's for the young and the old. WHO says all y'all stay home. There goes my excuse to not clean no more. Huh. Guess I'm gonna mop the floor. Didn't stack up and wipe. Toilet paper is hype. I get a regular amount. I think I'll be all right. Frozen fruits always right. Move rap night to Skype. Corn streaming from the couch. This is the life. Come on, G's. Stay inside, please. And if you sneeze, use your sleeves. Take sick leave. Avoid viruses. With the MVPs, I gotta stop the disease. Not the end of the world, but it's a slippery slope. Wash your hands. With extra soap, switch your mouth. Let's go keep it fresh. That's dope. You need smiles right now? Well, I'm showing out hope. 2020's arrived, but we'll be just fine. Exercise, extra veggies, no fries. Don't stress the school. Work on your health. And remember. <laughs> in your mouth. Bye-bye, everyone.